Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am just going to prepare a video on how to configure the descriptive flex field that is in DFF in Oracle Fusion. Okay. So in our last video, we had seen the concept of the value set. Okay. So now we have to use that respective value set here into the descriptive flex field. So in this video, I will just tell you that how to create the descriptive flex field or how to configure the value set on that respect descriptive flex field. For seeing this concept practically, I have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance screen. So before starting, I just have to tell you that if you are new on my channel and if you are trying to learn the Oracle Fusion, so please go through my Oracle Fusion playlist. There I have a lot of video. You can watch into the same sequence in which I had just uploaded it. It will really helpful. Okay. So please like, share, subscribe my channel. If you have any doubts, you can just write me on the comment section or you can also email me on my email ID mentioned into the description of videos. So continue to the topic. So here, first of all, we will see that how to create the descriptive flex field that is in a DFF. Okay. So basically, what is the concept of a descriptive flex field and what is this DFF? So suppose I'm just taking one example like as in job. So in my last video, I already told you that how to create the jobs. Okay. So there we are having some mandatory fields. Okay. And we are having some non mandatory fields as well. Okay. But suppose in future, some requirement will come like as an error. We have to add the country and the city for that respective job as well. Okay. So how you can achieve this one. So for that, we are having the concept of an DFF that is nothing but the descriptive flex fields. Okay, so here I will just tell you that how to implement that respective DFF. So for that, first of all, I'm just clicking on this my user. Here is a setup and maintenance. Then here is a task icon. Just click on here. Then here, click on the search one. Now you can write here manage descriptive flex. I'm just writing DESC. And clicking on search so you can just see that here is a manage descriptive flex fields okay just click on this one then here give the name as a job and click on search so for which respective specific task we have to do the descriptive flex field changes so i have to do for the job so i'm just clicking on this job attributes here and you can just do the edit over here okay so before editing this one, what I will do, I will just log in to my Oracle Fusion instance from some another browser to see this job screen. Okay, so what I will do, I will come here and I will do login from the screen. So I just log in from the another browser, then I'm just clicking here again on my user, then here is an setup and maintenance. Then here is a task. So click on this task and then click on search. And here search with the manage jobs. Manage job. It is already there. Just click on search. Select this one and click here. Now you can see this respected job window. Now here we have to create the job. So just click on the create. So you will come on the screen. So here select as a common job set. Give here some name like as an ttwn dff test job copy the same give into the code as well just click on the next button so now you can see this one so these are all the respective fields which we have to fill over here before creating the jobs so you can fill the status you can fill the full-time employee or regular employee and this fields and there is a concept of an now context value Okay, so what I will do, I will just go to my notepad first now and here I'm just pasting our topic that is how to configure the descriptive flex field in Oracle Fusion. Then we are having the two types of an flex field first. So two types of an flex field. Okay, so first one. So let's see which one is the first that is in global. The second one that is nothing but the context okay so what is the global and what is the context so global is nothing but the suppose i just have to add my respective 
country and the city on my this respective page job page okay so that time i just can define the simply the just global flex field and i can just have that on my page so if i have to see that how it will display on my page so if i just define global flex field as in country so country will come out here and city will come down okay but this is the one which will always come on the page but second type we are having the context so context is nothing but the, this context value we are having okay so suppose if i'm just clicking on this context value so number of n values will come like as in suppose there is a context value as in business unit so if i just select this business unit so business unit value checkbox is coming okay so maybe someone had created this business unit if i'm just selecting this eeo6 so if i'm just selecting this so you can see that the eeo6 is coming so like this there are the context value flex fields are there okay so we will just create the context value flex field first and i will just try to deploy it okay and see the result now i'm just going back to my previous browser where we already have this respective job dff open so you can see now so here is already there are the two global segments so this is nothing but the sequence 10 this is the sequence 20 that is in job title and job packages okay so if i just go on the job screen so you can just see or here as well that is the this is the job title and job package this is the coming as a global one so for the global segment you can just click on this respective plus icon and you can just add that respective global segment and here is a manage context so for the context input type so i have to click on this respective manage context so it will redirect me on the other page then here click on the plus icon so you have to give the display name suppose i'm just giving as an ttwn underscore d ff underscore job okay so this is my name so what i will do i will just copy this into the code as well and my api it will come automatically that is an ttw and dff job now let me just copy this on my notepad okay so this is done now so what we have to do we have to just add a few values over here okay so just click on save first of all so this plus icon will get enabled now click on this plus icon now here we will add the country same i'm just copying into the code as well just tabbing out so this api will come out here i'm just pasting same into the description here is a data type we can just give as a character table column attribute one so this value will get stored into this respective attribute one column okay now here we have to add the value set so just click on this drop down click on search here and i'm just writing ttwn so all my value set will come like as in technical talks with naresh so all this value set i had just created in my last video so you can go through that video if you are not seen that one so i had all that listed on my notepad already so i'm just opening here so for this respect to india us russia i had created this value set that is an independent value set okay so i am just selecting this is ttwn independent value set and click on ok now come down so you can see that there is a country and it is also the list of value okay so now what you can do you can just go above and click here save and now click here drop down save and create another so it will blank now we will create for the city i'm just writing city copying the same pasting into the code and this api will automatically then after i'm just creating here as well the character then again we have to select the value set so i'm just searching from here i'm just searching for the ttwn and then again there is an this value set we have to select that is that is ttwn independent value set just click on the ok and again come down here is a city list of value that is also ok and now we are done so we had just created both that respective value so just first click on save and click on save and close okay so you can see this both the values are coming over here if you want to make it as a mandatory so you can just make it so i'm just making this country as the mandatory and keeping city as not mandatory okay now i'm just clicking on save again this one 
Now again click on save and close. Click one more time, save and close. So you can see you will come on this respective job attribute screen. So you can see now this is the deployment status. So it is not deployed. Okay, so you can see there is an edited. Okay, and this is nothing but the deployed. Okay, so now we have to deploy this all the changes. So just click on this respective value and here is an deploy flex field button. Just click on this one. So it will start the deployment. Okay, so it will start from 0 to 100 if there are in error or warning it will get listed over here okay so if there are no error and warning it will just complete as an 100 percent with, with zero error and with zero warning so in our case there are no errors so it is completed now just click on ok now the status is nothing but the deployed okay now we can check this one on our respective job screen so let me go to the other browser here just let me log out and log in again so i just log out and log in again so i just log in and now i'm just going to the job screen so you know already the navigation so i'm just directly going to there so i just came on the job screen now so this is the context value and now let's select that the context value so you so you can see now there is one value that is in ttw and dff job so which we had only created so i'm just selecting this one so as i selected you can see are coming okay which one is in country and the city and you can see country is mandatory because we had made this one as a mandatory so let me just minimize my screen a bit more so you can see now it is in country and we are having here the drop down as well so if i'm just selecting countries from here so i'm just selecting india then after if i'm just going for the city so it will pop up the respective okay so here also it is just popping that respective countries only so what maybe we had done we had not selected the proper value set so just let me go here so just let me just re-edit this job attribute job attribute then here the manage context then here let me search the context so this is my context let me re-edit this one this is the second value that is the city so i have to just re-edit this one so what is this one so we are just added the same value set so here we have to add the value set for the cities so which is my value set for the cities so this is my value set that is ttw dependent value sets okay so i'm just copying this one now going back here clicking this drop down click on search i'm just giving this new value set click on search it is there just select click on ok save and close one more time seven close one more time seven close one more time seven close and lastly just click on this one and deploy the flex fields it started deploying one more time so if you had done any type of this such mistake so you have to just do the changes and deploy it one more time just re-log in to the future instance one more time i'm going to this browser so I just re-log in and came on the screen. So again, I'm just trying to select this context value. So here I'm selecting TTW and DFM jobs. And here is in a country. So first of all, we will just select it as an India. And now we will try with the city. So you can see now it is coming as an Delhi. So I'm just selecting Delhi. If I'm just trying to change the country one more time, so if I'm just selecting the country as this time USA, see the city is automatically vanish if i'm just clicking on city drop down it's coming as in chicago or new york so i'm just selecting new york so if i have to change for the russia then same again it will do for that as well so by this way we can just add the respective descriptive flex field and their respective values by using that respective value sets okay so this is all about the adding the respective flex field on the oracle fusion screens adding the values based upon the value sets
If you have any doubts, you can just write into the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.